to another uh, reaction video of the Mandela catalog. And welcome back to my terrible camera. Um, this is the now 15 minute and 9 seconds long, so this is going to be a bit of a longer video. So um, just strap in and grab a snack or something, and I guess we'll just jump into it. And uh, it's dark out, so I can't really have natural light. Um, come in, otherwise I'd turn the light off because you can kind of see it there, but it's all right. Let's just begin. We are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we'll refer to as alternates. Until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. You will know if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you So, we, we've seen... it looks like this might be kind of like... It kind of... maybe an extended version, I imagine, so... Unless it's like all the same video, is it? I'm not sure. No, it's not. Okay. No, no, go back. So it's not. Alright, um... So this is just like an extended version of what we've seen already, so... If you're not re-watching a video, this is... this is... generally new. Well, not new, I don't know how... the video's a little old now, I think, but... Um, you know. You know what I mean. New for us, because we haven't seen it. So, uh... to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. You will know if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person that has a biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. If one manages to break into your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact with the threat. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily dis It's interesting they call it psychological warfare, not just like some kind of psychological something, you know. I mean I get what they mean, but they call it warfare, you know, like it's it's a big deal. Encourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate. We make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. This was yesterday's video. Again, here we go. Slenderman? We've got Slenderman's cousin? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Some interesting people we got going here. content now. Now we're stepping into some new stuff. Mark Heathcliff and Cesar Torres. 
I can't hear anything, but you know. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up? Are you right? Yeah, it's not me. It's my mom. She's knocked out cold, and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. Would you mind if I asked why? Oh, well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? Yeah, that's the weird part. So this is a world where I imagine these alternates are just around. Because the broadcast warning people about it. So that's interesting. It's normal to these people. Like it sounds normal to them. Come on. Bert. Maybe she saw something? I don't... I don't know. Alright. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing. Try to get a good view of the house. Oh, hi. <laughs> I think we know which one might be the alternate. Okay. Alright, I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. Wonder why they need a view of the back hallway. Unless that's the bedroom, which would make sense, but... Or is it something else? I don't remember a whole lot from Mark's video, and he didn't show a whole lot. This is like the full video, so... Markiplier, I mean. Long time to close that door. How are we hearing that so well from the dash cam in the car? Like, hold, hold that noise. Come on. We're in the house, that makes sense. He left quick, obviously not a fan of the house, as you know, as previously stated. <clears throat> of course, 3 a.m. Was that the shed open? Or is that like something on, it looks like something on all fours, I want to say. Hold on. Hold on, look at that, yeah. Don't mind my face so close. I think it's like a shed or something, but like it looks like something on like all fours, maybe? Maybe it's, maybe it is. I honestly don't know.
So I think it was a shit. It was a shit. That makes sense. And now we have a sound increase. And of course all that happens at 3 in the morning. Because why not? Who are you? G get away from me! No! Imagine? Could you just imagine? You're laying in your bed. You hear your window shatter from the other room, maybe your living room or whatever. You hear something climb in or plop in, and you start hearing a familiar voice start talking to you. But you know that's not them. Because you can hear like the, the the weird stutteriness. Like you know it's not them. That that's creepy and terrifying, but also awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> days so he was in that room hiding from the thing for days and that thing just hung around outside that's insane it just was outside the door and the fact that it doesn't come in, it just stands around outside. Yeah. So it did come in, and he had shared some words with him. Interesting. Uh, well, I guess we gotta cut the video now. Uh, we guess we can't, we can't show this. We gotta, we gotta cut it now. Uh -huh. Very funny. All right, just kidding. We're obviously gonna do this. We're criminals now. You're in this too. We're all criminals here. While at the station, a situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. There are three, and only three, scenarios that you will handle with a caller. 
when a caller needs the police, send available personnel to the address. When the caller has a fire-related emergency, contact our neighboring fire department with the address and a brief description of the event. When the caller has a medical emergency, immediately contact the Mandelic. I'll be right back. Alright. Back now. Just had to do something real quick. And it sounds like we're about to head into Creepyville, USA again, so let's just start this. Here at the Mandela. Well, I was right, so. The County oh, Police go. Department, we thank you for viewing this instruction. Now, as douchey as that sounds, makes sense. It does make sense. Because if they're reporting one, you don't know if they are one. Just trying to call in someone. You know. That or they're just not going to put themselves in that kind of situation. That's a little more douchey. But if it's like you don't know if they're one, which is true. I get that. I 100% get that. Nothing is worth the risk. That's exactly what I was saying. It could very well be one of them. You can't reveal your fear, or they'll use that against you, in case it is one. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Alright, so far. Just when I thought we were going to start chilling out. We get going into this down the road again. Is this the same mark from previously? Right, that wasn't he was Mark, right? It just said something about bad decision mark. So it was the same when he was younger, age four? Or is this an alternate? Never know. Come on. <laughs> Losing grade 4,000? You know, that was a grade. Obviously, very smart four year old.
Yeah, you know what? I, I can I, I get it. I can see why. <laughs> also, is that just like off the side of the stairs? Is that just like two little, like you're walking up the stairs and there's just a door right there? I've never seen a house built like that. That's what that's like. Like ever. <laughs> Doesn't look that bad. It almost reminds me of like a monkey. I don't know why. <laughs> Doesn't look that bad. He's got a smiley face. He can't be terrible. And then it's gonna be ten seconds later where he's gonna be suddenly terrible. We all know it's coming. There we go. Happy ending. That's what it is. So it's not built into the wall. Okay. I can see why that'd be a little creepy. For a little child, I guess. I mean, I don't personally think that's terrifying. Unless we lived in this kind of situation. Which, in that case, I would probably die. Just just fall down the stairs and die. Probably. <laughs> okay, so suddenly he does not look very nice. <laughs> he does not look very nice anymore. He's an intruder. He's he's said it himself. What was that? So that is that. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in on this. My voice could start turning all weird. Uh oh, I don't know what this is gonna do to the video. Not good things, I imagine. Let's do that. Oh, you're seeing all the boring do not disturb screen. But there's that. We're fine. So, um,. Oh, the next video is Intruder Alert. So it looks like I apparently watched it. I don't remember. Or at least a little bit. Don't remember that at all. But um, five minutes, we'll get back to the shorter section. And additionally, there is this here that I just saw yesterday. And I didn't notice that. Sorry the singing in the background. She's learned a lot of songs at school and she loves to uh, sing them all the time. So we'll have to go through these here. Marks. Interesting. So, we're going to wrap it up here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. There's more to come. And again, you tell me what you guys want. Real or fakes or whatever. And I'll try to get them out there. Also, I want to have a question. Just real quick. If and when I get my PC fixed. I can't keep this straight at all. Whatever. If and when I get my PC fixed, would you want to see Phasophobia at least once? on this channel, or should I keep it on the gaming channel? Just because it's a ghost hunting game, and I really like playing it a lot. So if you guys want to see me play it, um, you can tell me in the comments. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap it up before I see you're talking forever. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I want to say thanks on the gaming channel for almost 200 subs. I don't really have anything special planned. I don't think every 100, because it'll, it'll get really old really quick. So I think I'm just going to go for 500. It'll be like the next what, significant thing. I don't know what. I'm thinking about on this channel doing like a Q&A if you want to. 
but uh, I'm not worried about that until we get a little closer. So again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.